Hi all, today's topic is all about steps to courier documents in Accenture. As soon as you got onboarded into Accenture, within few days you will be receiving a mail with a subject line like Accenture onboarding document submission. So guys, this mail is regarding you have to courier your documents to Accenture uh, office address. Okay, they'll be mentioning that. In this mail, they will be telling you to submit original documents with your wet signature guys. So you have to take printout of all the documents here and you need to wet sign means physically you need to sign with a pen on the each and every document and you have to document them and submit okay so submit in the sense you have to courier and the next important thing in this mail is they will provide one address guys uh, for most of the people like the main branch for your uh, document verification is in bangalore so they will be mentioning each and every address like the street name everything okay in this mail only and this mail will be even sent to your outlook mail once you will get the microsoft account you will get this mail both to your accenture and personal g mail and next content in this mail is they will provide you two documents guys like a reference documents how they have filled okay previously so that document will be there so that you can refer the document and you can fill easily your documents as well and the second attachment is uh, what are the documents you need to print okay that uh, zip file they will be providing you you need to download that and extract that files so all those documents you have to fill you have to uh, sign okay with the uh, wet signature i mean you need to sign with your pen okay you need to take print out and sign with your pen okay guys so in this mail only they will be providing you list of documents okay what are the documents you can send if you see the list will be too large like relieving letter okay as a fresher you don't need to provide relieving letter right even though they will be mentioning that and there will be a specific documents for bangalore joiners and west bengal joiners so some of the documents will be optional so you need not worry like you need to send all the documents what if i do like i'm a fresher i can't send so don't feel whatever is not applicable to you you can leave the document guys so now let's see each and every document which is given in the list so guys these are the list of documents which you need to submit in the courier so what is the first one is offer letter and terms of employment once you are able to access your offer letter in the Indian Jobs portal, along with offer letter, you can see terms of employment port, uh, I mean document as well, right? So that's the first one you need to courier. So guys, one most important thing, please do subscribe and support guys. You are really supporting very well. Uh, I need more support from you. So this is what I'm expecting. And once the subscribers reaches like 1000, I'm just like to provide giveaway guys. So all of the 1000 subscribers are eligible to participate for that giveaway. And out of that, two subscribers are gonna claim that uh, giveaway. So you're gonna be one of them. So why don't you uh you know subscribe and participate in that so okay let's continue with our video then so as i told you that first document is offer letter right so in the offer letter as all you know they will be mentioning our ctc and all those lists right so in this offer letter it will not be uh, with one page right it contains a lot of pages so you need to wet sign each and every page guys wherever it is possible like they will be mentioning you at the end of the page signature 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 right so wherever they are mentioning that signature each page you have to sign okay and if possible please keep your employee ID at the top of the offer letter as well if possible okay so please put your employee ID and you need to sign all the documents so offer letter uh, documentation is you need to sign each and every uh, page of the document and second along with the offer letter in the indian jobs portal they will be giving you one unique key id right in that only you will be having terms of employment document as well so you need to open this terms of employment document 
so in this terms of employment document you can see a signature uh, button i mean sorry signature field and as well as employee code field right you need to do your signature and enter your employee code so this is the terms of document uh, i mean terms of employment document as well as offer letter document guys so once you uh, take print out of these things and do signatures please keep it aside now let's move to the second document which is nothing but your pan card so pan card uh, actually you need to take a scanned copy of your pan card guys make uh, at least like two xerox copies you keep like if you lose something then it will be like a spare one i have sent two copies so it's it's your wish you can send one or two i have sent uh, only two so this is your pan card you need to take a scan xerox copy of that and keep it along with your offer letter so this is the second one that we have completed and third document is nothing but your women consent form okay in this women consent form this is only applicable to women employees guys it is not applicable to men so only women like in this they will be mentioning you right uh, like are you able to relocate are you able to work in any other location which you are preferred not like not your preferred location also you need to work and like can you work in night shifts so they are taking a acknowledgement from us guys uh, so girls like you need to enter your uh, details here and you need to do the signature for this women consent form so the details that you need to enter here is your employee id girls and you need to enter your level career level and you need to write your name and your location thereby you need to keep your signature and date so here the sample details which i have mentioned you can have a look so after this women consent form you will be having one more document guys so which is nothing but document declaration form so this document is mainly nothing but when you are onboarding like you are giving them uh, acknowledgement like you will provide your 10th i mean sorry not 10th highest educational qualification your uh, uh, like uh, you are relieving letters so all the documents you are going to submit uh, them like that you are providing a acknowledgement okay so that documentation uh, form where you will get means so inside the documents to be printed which will be in the mail right so when you are uh, um, extracting all the files in that only this document declaration form will be there so need not worry about this so after uh, filling the details like your name and employee id you need to uh, cross check all the content mentioned in this document and do your signature and keep it keep the date okay so guys now the next document is form q so form q is nothing but it is applicable only for the bangalore joiners so they will be providing your fields guys you need to mention your employee id name and address in the bangalore so all those things you need to uh, enter and thereby you need to keep your signature and enter the date so this is particularly applicable for only the bangalore joiners thereby continuing the similar document uh, there is one more which is nothing but form x guys so this form x is nothing but only for the west bengal joiners so everything will be same so in that they will be asking you the name employee code and address so all these things only west bengal joiners need to fill this form so you need to take print out and do the wet signature and keep the date so if you are not a bangalore joiner or west bengal joiner you can skip these two documents now let's move to the next document which is nothing but form 11 guys I have uh, made a video on countdown to accenture guys in that i have clearly explained you what is form 11 bf nomination form gf nomination form all those things so you can go visit i'll provide you the link so uh, in this the documents to be printed in the gmail when you extract the file you will be finding the form 11 so the information will be same but the pattern will be different okay you need to enter your uh, name employee code father name gender pf account number bank account number pan card are your member so all these details you have to mention inside that and thereby there uh, will be a tabler form guys so you need to enter the details here like your previous company is a exempted trust or an exempted trust based on that you need to fill if your company is i mean previous company is exempted that means your pf account details everything passbook those details are with the 
uh, I mean, uh, their company only, company trust, if it is unexempted. So how uh, like uh, using EPF for like that. So you need to mention the details based on your previous company, uh, like whether it is exempted or unexempted based on that you need to fill the details of this form 11. Okay, guys. So the first field here is name and address of the trust guys. So if you know, you can ask your previous employer to provide the address of the trust. Thereby your UAN number you have to enter and PF account number and date of joining and date of exit you have to provide. Certificate uh, there is not needed to upload. If you have you can provide. So NCP is nothing but your non-contribution periods. Okay. So means your last working day in your previous employment and date of joining in the current employment. So how how much difference is there in between joining and exiting so those days are nothing but your non-contributory period okay so that thing you have to mention and same thing if you are um, unexempted okay then you have to provide the epfo address in place of your uh, <clears throat> name of the address of the trust is there right there you have to mention and remaining everything will be same so if there exists any signature please do sign and uh, so that is all about the form 11 document guys so thereby continuation of this there will be another document guys which is nothing but pf nomination form guys so pf nomination form is like uh, like you need to enter the basic details here like your name your employee code your father name your gender and your pf account number and here you will be having two sections which is part a epf and part b is eps guys so in part a you have to mention the name and address of your nominees okay nominees are nothing but uh, who you are trusting okay so those trustees name you have to provide here like your father sister brother mother anyone okay in their relationship with you like guru is my father so relationship is father and nominees date of birth and the proportion so out of 100 person like how much amount you are trying to provide them that you have to write so that is your uh, part a epf and uh, part b is also same guys you need to provide their address relationship date of birth and proportion so after filling these two things you need to do sign uh, at the end so if there is no sign then leave it if there exists a sign field please do the sign so that is it about the pf nomination form guys so similarly you will be having the gratuity form so in this gratuity form also everything will be same you need to enter the details and i mean you need to fill the details with a pen and the tabular form which you need to fill is like the name and the address and relationship nominees age and how much proportion you are about to provide to that nominee okay so make sure you are keeping it a uh, hundred percent like 50 plus 25 plus 25 which is equal to the sum should be equal to hundred percent so this is all about the gratuity form guys so please try to fill this and let's move to the next section which is nothing but other benefits form here you will be having various sections like accidents ffs so so many things will be there so like you need to provide address of the nominees relation age and how much share you are providing to them so here they will be categorizing into various sections like it may be due, so sudden all of a sudden if accidents happen so the amount like how much you are like uh, whatever the amount will be there right to whom how much proportion we need to provide so that details we are providing here guys under mediclaim travel ffs so all these things you please fill and do sign if wherever applicable and now let's move into the next section guys which is nothing but Aadhaar card. So Aadhaar card, please pro try to provide two photocopies of Aadhaar card. And last, nothing but uh, your relieving letter. Or uh, so there are many things they have provided in the mail to submit. So whichever you are comfortable with, please send that. So if you do have employee certificate or else service certificate, you can even send that as well, guys. So what if you are not having any of these uh, relieving letter or anything from your previous employment? So what is the solution? So at that time, you will be sending a mail to your previous organization, right? Like I'm going to put the resignation and they will be sending you, okay, your resignation is accepted. So that mail, okay, you try to make that mail uh, convert into a pdf format so there will be many videos guys uh, how to convert a mail to pdf format please watch that so convert that resignation acceptance mail to pdf format take print out of that and uh, after converting the document okay that you need to send in the courier 
so after all these documents are documented the last thing you need to courier is your passport size photos so two passport size photos you need to courier guys so with this you have completed all the documents which you need to be courier to the mentioned address so cross check each and every document is present or not but in my case like on a safer side what i did is i not only couriered the wet signature documents guys so i have filled in the countdown to accenture right so nomination form all those things so like similarly i have done these documents fill and e sign you know right this adobe acrobat inside that you can do fill and e sign right instead of uh, writing with a pen i have uh, even written by i mean e sign and e filling so that way also i have filled all these documents so two sets of documents i have sent it is optional guys it's just depend on you if you send the wet signature that is more than enough but i don't know like I, on a safer side i have just sent those documents also later i come to know that only wet signature is enough so after documenting all these things uh, the mode of couriering i mean uh, what happened uh, i just went to the post office like uh, i just want to uh, courier these documents i come to know it is somewhat um, uh, time taking i mean at, at least three to four days like that but when you use the private couriers like dtdc or com express or else uh, blue dart rmx so whatever delivery private services you can use this so for this you need not do anything like go to google and search like uh, nearest uh, blue dart office so if you search that you will be finding the nearest courier service nothing you need to do you just take all these printouts okay set off in neatly you envelope uh, so okay for envelope uh, you just go to a stationery shop ask like you need to have a courier envelope okay for the documents so they will be providing you the envelopes guys it's uh, around 10 to 15 rupees i didn't remember sorry if the cost is wrong so with that you will be getting your courier envelopes now with this uh, documents like all which you kept in the envelope please go to the nearest uh, courier service uh, suppose you uh, visit like blue dot office so you need to tell them like you need to courier this to the bangalore address which was mentioned in the mail they will ask you to fill that address on the envelope so once you fill this address you need to hand over this uh, envelope to them they will be charging you around 150 to 200 based on the location like that so once you hand over this envelope to them uh, within one day like within india it takes around one to two days to working days to reach to the accenture uh, uh, verification office like the bangalore location so that's it guys uh, this is the process like how to courier your documents so don't worry if in case any document is wrong they will again ask you to send so for me one of the documents i missed so again they asked me to send it's through the mail only they asked i don't know they didn't ask me to courier so this is how we do courier I hope you like this video guys if you find this video helpful please do like subscribe to this channel guys please do subscribe don't forget and if you have any sort of queries please comment through the comment section i'll be replying to you and uh, uh, i'm trying to provide you as much help as i can do so uh, thank you for the support guys take care